After weeks in previews, it was officially opening night. The show tells the story of the life and artistry of the late Michael Jackson. The Reverend Al Sharpton knew Jackson for 35 years and preached at his funeral. His music uh, was something that he naturally did. He was very meticulous about, so I wanted to see the show tonight. Billie Jean, Thriller, Man in the Mirror, just to name a few. The production features over two dozen of the King of Pop's greatest hits. Iconic film director Spike Lee arrived wearing a T-shirt from the actual Victory Tour in 1984. I did some digging, and uh, this is vintage. Newcomer Miles Frost snagged the lead role, cast for his ability to embody Jackson and his legendary moves. Characters also include the famous family members and Motown legend Barry Gordy. Do you want to bring uh, some of yourself to Barry Gordy so you study him and you uh, compare yourself with him and bring as much as, as you can to that character. We're kind of like the Jackson 5 but without the talent. <laughs> but we feel a lot like them. And I'm nicer than Joe. The show centers around the 1992 Dangerous World Tour. It examines his creative process and touches upon his financial woes and drug addiction, but it does not cover accusations of child molestation. The first allegations came out the year after the show was set. Jackson was a controversial figure leading up to his 2009 death, and while he still has fervent fans, others don't support him. Everybody has to make their own individual choice based upon their ethics, morals, whatever. The musical is written by two-time Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Lynn Nottage. Michael Jackson's music is part of my DNA. My life tracks with his songs. The very first album that I bought was ABC. The production also makes history as the first Broadway show to offer four different playbill covers, telling the story of one of the greatest artists of all time. Well, I hope it lives up to Mike's legacy. I really do, because I think we've, so far it's been received very well. So MJ the Musical actually has been four years in the making. The original opening date was supposed to be back in 2020, but of course uh, that had to be postponed because of the pandemic. Now that being said, this is officially opening night, and by the looks of the crowd behind me, it is another sign that Broadway and New York City is back.